Give him the jingle, baby. <laughs> Do the jingle. What jingle? What you just did before the camera turned on. <laughs> Father Ted. No, you had to be Come more on. raspy. Father Ted. Fa- Father Ted. Father Ted. What you gonna do today, Father Ted? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Queen Boomer. That's what Boomer, I woke up and say. Queen Boomer herself. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? We're going to get into some more Father Ted. If Father you Ted. Know, uh, which is our favorite show right now. So, uh, I'm uh, rather scared by the uh, title of this episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Father I... Jack drinks a bottle of floor polish. Oh. Now, kids, do not do this. I was just about to say, I've done that. It can only that. end in extreme pain or death. So, even for adults. I thought he's, at first, when I first read it, I thought it said Father Ted drinks a bottle off the floor, which Queen Boomer has done. Not a floor polish. Are you referring to your floor shot escapades? Yeah. For some reason, she likes drinking shots off the floor, ladies and gentlemen. I gave you a floor shot before we started dating. Yeah. Look how that worked out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, floor shots can be sentimental. Too. Floor shots. Yeah. Now they're all gonna be like, you guys, <laughs> you guys got together over a floor shot. What's wrong with you two? Uh, but it looks like because of the title, Father Jack is gonna be highlighted in this one. Love it. Love it too. Love it. Love, Love that it too. For us. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is Father Ted, season one, episode six, and this is our reaction to it. Get ready, folks. Here we go. Ted. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a barking dog. He looks dog. like a parrot. <laughs> like one of those cockatoos. I love cockatoos. <laughs> you know, talking about this holy stone thing is making me think of that recent Dr. Disrespect clip I saw. Oh, jeez. Where he's yelling at the rock of tomb. Harashti, <laughs> rashti! I forgot where I was, but there was somewhere, I think it was in Italy? that I went to, I was like 9 or 10, so if I'm not remembering this right I'm sorry, but you like rubbed a statue's toe and you got like good luck from rubbing its toe Okay Where is that? I don't where's know. the lucky toe? Where are the Italians on this channel that <laughs> can help us out with that? Yeah, where's the lucky toe? <laughs> Should be putting on makeup I suppose huh? <laughs> Impress the lads, huh? I know she's probably just going to the toilet. Our nun's great though, Ted. It, it's good because you don't feel as nervous with them as you do with real women, do you? <laughs> ah, you're right there. Now, even though I only got the courage to talk to her a few minutes ago, it's nice to have a nun around. Gives the place a bit of glamour, huh? <laughs> a woman's touch. Anyway, listen, I better go on rouse. <laughs> I'll tell her off. His face? <laughs> Yeah, look at that face. Hold on. Oh, I don't think you've touch. ever experienced a woman's touch. Oh, oh. listen, I better go on and rouse Jack. You got all serious. <laughs> Ted says you were touching him. Oh, okay. uh, here he is. Father Jack, you all right there? Ready for another day? I'm off with Sister Monica now. If the milkman calls, the money's under the statue of our Lord being embarrassed by the Romans. All right then? <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea before I go? Good morning, Father. I know you won't mind us leaving you alone because Father Dougal got that new video for you, Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> It's probably not as violent as the ones you usually like, but sure, well, give it a go. Oh, yes, it is. What are you doing? What? Reservoir dogs. This looks very bad, Ted. What? He's very drunk. Still, he must have been at it all night. Where does he hide it? I don't know. I haven't seen him this bad since that wedding in Clonus, Ted. Do you remember? Didn't he disappear off with Sister Imelda? <laughs> God, yes, the blue nun. The blue nun? Oh, no, Ted. Look at this. Oh, God. Hold this. Father, 
This is very bad. Do you not remember what the windoline did to you? <laughs> Father Jack, Father Jack, are you there? Ted. Imagine the damage floor polish would do you. My dear God. Ted. What is it? Uh, I'm in tremendous pain, Ted. <laughs> Put it down, then. Oh. God, Dougal. Come on, we've got it. <laughs> Oh God, Dougal! Okay. You're the man. Come on, now, Father. Come on, you can't have Sister Monica seeing like this. Come on, big steps. What's the matter? <laughs> there you are, Sister Monica. That's just Father Jack's uh, motor. It takes a little time to get going in the morning. He doesn't look well. Oh, he's grand. We're just taking him on a little trip to the toilet. Will we go on a little trip to the toilet, Father? Just put him down there in that chair, and we'll have a look at him. <laughs> he doesn't like to be fussed over. And I really think you should let me look at him. Mother of God, he's dead. What's the problem there, sister? Father, Father Jack, he's dead. There's no pulse and he's stone cold. Come on now, Father. You're not dead, are you? He's very definitely dead. Come on, Father, the joke's over. Father, he's gone. I think you should go and get help. And Father Dugan here can give the sacraments. Right, well, I'll call Dr. Sinis, but frankly, I think you're making a big fuss about nothing. <laughs> Oh my god. The last rites, Father. All right, yeah, of course. Uh, shouldn't we wait for Ted? Well, there's no need, really. Is there any anointing oil? Uh, no, I think himself drank it last week. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you wouldn't like to do the honours yourself? What? No, of course not. I suppose, I suppose I'm wearing the trousers as far as this job goes. Right. <laughs> right. Well, we are gathered here today to join two people. To... <laughs> Dougal's so nervous. Uh, sounds like Dougal's uh, kind of horny. Hey, little. There needs to be a nicer word than horny. Lustful. Throffy. Throffy. <laughs> Throffy. Fruffy, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Feisty. <laughs> Feisty. Feisty one you are. I don't like the word horny. <laughs> Feisty one you are. <laughs> That's not it, of course, yeah. Well, Father, best of luck. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, there's more. Um, uh, sorry, didn't get a chance to see you off. I don't know if I should be talking to you down here or up there. I look up there. So anyway, you're there now with our Lord and Stalin and Bob Marley and, and the rest of them. And uh, of course, my own parents. Uh, actually, I'd like to take this opportunity to say hello to them. Uh, hello, Mammy and uh, Daddy. I uh, hope they're looking after you up there. The Latin father. All right, yeah. Uh, totus to us minimus canis costa corta badge you Oh, did you ring the doctor, Father? Right, well, it looks bad, all right. I, uh, I called Dr. Sinish. I gave him the symptoms over the phone, and he said he's probably dead, all right. <laughs> uh, the pulse not being there is uh, bad enough, but the heart stopping is a real danger sign. <laughs> that happened my uncle, and he was fine afterwards. He's not dead. He's going to wake up. The heart stop For how long? Uh, a week. Wait, really? And he was fine afterwards? Actually, no. Now I think of it, uh, he died. <laughs> Maybe he actually is dead. I think it's absolutely great to see. I mean, the level of no, commitment amongst and the African church in bringing the faith to the people is just wonderful. It's marvellous, isn't it? Sure, I wouldn't know. I'm from Donegal. <laughs> what do you say? The I faith back. to the people is just wonderful. It's marvellous, isn't it? Sure, I wouldn't know. I'm from Donegal. <laughs> he said, I wouldn't know something. Will you have a sandwich, Father Cleary? Uh, oh, no, thanks, Mrs. Doyle. I'm fine. Have a try. They're diagonal. Uh, so I see, but... Uh... 
Uh, no, thanks, anyway. Ah, go on. Sure, they're only small. No, no, I'm going to... Are you sure you won't have one? Uh, no, thanks, Mrs. Doyle. I, I ate before I came out. Would you like one for later? I could put it in a bag. Ah, no, no, don't bother. No, no. Here's a little bag you can bring one home in. No, no, no. And here's a bigger bag you can put the little bag into. No. And you can eat it later, or you can eat it now if you want, whatever suits you. Ah, oh. you'll have one now. Ah, sure, I might as well. Mrs. Doyle. hurts oh my face hurts oh 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 what He's what is drag. going on <laughs> what is going on he is this was very quick ah yes i suppose so in New Zealand and a sister in South Africa. Oh. Oh. Why is it always the good ones? Oh, you bastard! Oh, now, Father! Thou shalt not use God's name in vain. That's yeah. one of the Ten Commandments. Oh, good job. He could have been Pope Ted, but the fucking judgments they have it all tied up. Yes. Imagine Ted, a Polish Pope. It should have been Jack. That's <laughs> sad, but um, look at him there, he, he looks quite serene. Oh, God! Oh, no, 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 no! He's dead, dead! I oh, will never see him again! <laughs> we'll see him in the next world. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, God! What? what is this man? I love him! <laughs> Oh my god, what is that man doing? I love him. Focus he's memory. Doing, yeah, he's doing Father good. Turtle. <laughs> oh, Ted, you big fool. What are you doing, Dugan? <laughs> I don't think you should be getting up to this kind of nonsense. Come on now, up you get. You should leave his chair idle for a while. Did you ever look at that? <laughs> it's completely bald. <laughs> Smooth as a baby's behind. <laughs> You'd know all about that, Ted. <laughs> what? what? You know, when you're baptizing them, the babies. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to give Sister Monica a lift down to the boat. Thank you, Father. Oh, no, it's the least we could do. You're always very good for Father Jack. It's the least we could do. Excuse me, Father Crilly. 
There's a woman here to see you. A woman, Mrs. Doyle? I think you mean a nun. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a woman, all right. A young woman with a skirt. Oh. <laughs> I'll be off then. <laughs> Hello, Father Creeley. Yes? I'm from Corliss Corliss in Sweeney. Oh, we're fine for coal, thanks. Uh, no, it's nothing to do with coal. My name is Laura Sweeney. And this must be Father Maguire. Mm. No. Anyway, I think you both better sit down. I've got a bit of a shock for you. Before you say anything, I want to assure you that that was just a routine relocation of funds. Oh, no, no. But the money was resting in my account before I actually presented it. No, you don't understand. This is about Father Hackett. Now, please, sit down and I'll explain everything to you. This is, this is not going to go well. No. They're going to find out something shocking. Yeah. It may come as a surprise for you to learn that Father Hackett left a will. Did he? <laughs> what does it say? Well, if I may. I, Father Jack Hackett, being of sound mind and body... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. ...leave my entire fortune to Father Ted Crilly and Father Dougal Maguire to be distributed equally amongst them and... Oh, wow. I'll be, I'll be off now then, Father. I'll make the way to the boat myself then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ugh, bye. He's like, bye. Bye, fathers. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Look at this, Tudor. Father Jack left us money. That's very nice of him. How much? Half. Half. Half a million pounds. What? Half a million pounds each. <laughs> Oh no, between us. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a quarter of a million each, Ted. Uh oh. Hey. How did Father Jack have all that money? I don't know. You think with his uh, alcoholism, he would have spent, spent that long ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess he's being cheap if he's so drinking nice. floor polish. Looks like you're yeah. going to be very rich men. Grand. <laughs> There's just that soul requirement, which I'm surprised Father Hackett didn't discuss with you himself. Oh? When is the funeral again? Again? Well, we haven't had the first one yet. So. <laughs> no. Uh, sorry. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. It's tomorrow morning. Right. Well, you know about Father Hackett's terrible fear of being buried alive. Well, there's no chance of that now, is there? I mean, you know... Like he's dead. Oh yes, he was terribly frightened of that. That's why he wouldn't do confession. He didn't like enclosed spaces. Of course, he also just didn't want to do it. <laughs> A load of strangers telling you their sins. Sure, who'd be bothered with that? Well, Father Hackett's fear... Father Hackett's fear was so great that he stipulated that you two must spend the night before the burial with him. Okay, all right. I suppose that's the least we can do. Anyway, we can discuss it with the solicitor. I am the solicitor. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. She gets it on the left. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm sorry, but I'm the senior partner in Corliss, Corliss and Sweeney. Now, come on now. Just because we're from the island, do you think you can have a bit of fun with us? I assure you. All right, all right. The big thick goes from the island. <laughs> but we're not as thick as we look, eh? No way, Jose. Now, wait a second. <laughs> Why do you think I've been talking to you for the last hour and a half? Look, you're a lovely girl, but I really think we should talk to the solicitor. <laughs> if you're a solicitor, I'm boy George. <laughs> karma, 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 oh, they're karma, saying they can't believe a woman is a solicitor? Yeah. You come and go. You come and go. Karma, karma. Oh, how's your head, Ted? Not too bad. But it's true what they say about these career women. They're very aggressive. <laughs> what are you saying? It's true what they say about these career women. Very aggressive. Oh. Are we aggressive? Huh. Let's keep it focused on the uh, reaction. Okay. You took her little snail. Yeah, she was very aggressive, wasn't she, Ted? Oh, and the language out of her. You wouldn't hear it from a docker. I ah, you would. They use very bad language. 
effing this and effing that. It was worse than that, Ted. She was saying fuck. Now, Dougal! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, who'd have thought Father Jack had half a million pounds? And he never said a word about it. Theirs was lying in a bank account all these years. How did he get it all in the first place? Well, as far as I understand it, he was just an astute saver. He tried to avoid giving money to charity. He would wear trousers during the summer. That obviously saved a couple of bob in wear and tear. All sorts of little uh, savings here and there all over the place. It all adds up, you know. I suppose we only really knew him in his twilight years. But I think we saw the best of him. A really lovely man. A true knight of the church. Gentle. Lovely sense of humour. Patient. Good natured. Sorry, Ted. Who's this now? <laughs> Who do you think I'd be talking about at this particular moment, Dougal? Well, I'm not sure. I didn't catch the start. <laughs> Jack, of course. All right, Jess, yeah. A great priest. First priest to denounce the Beatles? That's right. <laughs> First priest to denounce the Beatles. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's right. Wow. Horse. <laughs> All right, Jess. <laughs> Great priest. What a... First priest to denounce the Beatles? What an accomplishment. Right. <laughs> he could see what they were up to. He could see what they were up to. He loved the children, of course. Oh, he did, yes. They were terrified of him, though. Well, he had that stick, you know, and he'd be waving that stick, and sure, maybe they thought he'd hit them. I heard when he was teaching in St. Columns that he was a great believer in discipline. Jeez! <laughs> what a flashback! Oh, man. Oh. A friend of mine had him. Father Jimmy Rabbit studied under him for a couple of years. He told me once, he said, no one, no one had such a huge effect on him as Father Jack. Father Jimmy Ranibal. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to him? Do you remember the Drum Shanbo massacre? Yeah. <laughs> that was him. <laughs> massacre. Another thing about Jack. He loved a bit of competition. He had a great sense of fair play. <laughs> <laughs> these, these flashback scenes are gold. And a great traditionalist. He didn't agree with a lot of the modern thinking within the church. You'll burn for all eternity in hell! He's a crazy One ass moment you hear, The next moment. And in the happy no time of his sleeping, death took him by the hand. You know, someone once said that life is but a thin sliver of light between two immensities of darkness. Makes you think. Does, Ted. About what? <laughs> about death, Dougal, about death. That's very morbid, isn't it, Ted? What started you off thinking about death? Still, it's good we have this time with them. Maybe sometimes we weren't always as thoughtful as we could have been. But at least now we're able to have this time with them. To treat them with the respect it deserves. Ah, uh, you're right there, Ted. Do you fancy now a game of charades? <laughs> yes, I think so. Great, right, so you go first. Right. I'll start. I'll give you an easy one with. Uh, fishing. Uh, gone fishing. Something to do with boxing. Uh, one handed boxing. <laughs> one handed boxing. Oh my god. You're not supposed to tell me, Ted. <laughs> okay. Philip. One Philip. One word. Come on, Ted, you're making it a bit too easy for me. Well, they need you to know. Right, one word, Philip. Can't be too many of them. Salem's lot. Uh, tongue, uh, mouth, teeth. Uh, is there a Philip called tongue? Tom tongue. Um, uh, tongue fish. S -s -s Swim tongue. 
Um, uh, uh, fish, attack of the joint, killing fish. Uh, tongue, tongue fish. Uh, the deep, uh, piranha. Jaws too. Um, uh, oh, close then. Uh, uh, Ghostbusters too. Why was the Jaws uh, too? too? No. Um, Batman Returns. You had it. It was Jaws. No, it's Jaws too, Ted. It's a different film. It's a very different film. It's a different shark. <laughs> It's a different shark. <laughs> oh my god, this episode is ridiculous. Just two. Uh. <laughs> oh. Ted, are you still awake, Ted? <laughs> <laughs> Look at his outfit! I know. Question. Oh, not again, Dougal. Look. When a man and a lady are very much in love, then... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No, I didn't want to ask that, Ted. I just wanted to ask you, do you believe in an afterlife? Do I what? Do you believe in an afterlife? Well, Dougal, generally speaking, priests tend to have a very strong belief in the afterlife. <laughs> oh, I wish I had your faith, Ted. <laughs> Dougal, how did you get into the church? Was it like collect 12 crisp packets and become a priest? <laughs> Lots of charity organizations that are grateful for money. There's Concern, St. Vincent de Paul, Food for Africa, Help the Aged. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe a few. We saw a little flashback of him like that before, yeah. right? In one of the earlier episodes. Yeah. yeah. Comic relief. <laughs> so, some good will come from Father Jack's death. It's hard to believe he's gone, though, isn't it, Ted? Ah, uh, you're right there. It's beginning to snow again. The flakes, silver and dark, falling obliquely against the lamplight. It's probably snowing all over the island. On the central plain. On the treeless hills. Falling softly upon the graveyards. Upon the crosses and the headstones. Upon all the living. And the dead. Shut the fuck up! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! Oh, that caught me so off guard. I thought something funny was gonna happen, but I didn't think it was gonna be him. I knew he wasn't dead. Ted. Evil Jake Father Jack, to the floor. What happened, Ted? <laughs> what happened, Father Jack? What? Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he back. So, there he is. Risen from the dead, like that fella E.T. <laughs> There's one thing that confuses me, though. Yes? Is Jack dead then, or what? No. Nope. Apparently not. The floor polish brought about all the symptoms of death, such as no heartbeat, rigor mortis, decomposition. <laughs> but he was lucky. The effects just wore off him. It's good to have him back, though, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Who needs half a million pounds anyway? <laughs> yes, sir. Our life is the spiritual life. Oh, no. <laughs> but to be honest, I don't like talking about this, but it's only a matter of time. I mean, he's not a young man. And you know, and I suppose, when he's gone, it won't be so bad. The money will be some kind of comfort to us. <laughs> That's something. Now, you better come down to the shops with me. I want to buy some more floor polish. <laughs> Maybe we should get a few different brands, you know, just to try them out, like. Yes, so we can leave them all around the house so they won't get lost. Or we could leave them in Jack's room and ask him to keep an eye on them. <laughs> Drink! <laughs> Take off! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, best way to end <laughs> end a show. I Back know. off. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Oh, I could not handle that guy walking like a crowd. I know you couldn't. You loved it. That was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Well, it was just out of nowhere. He just walks into the room like that. Yeah. Oh, this God, is you're going to do it. it. Let's do it. He comes around the corner. He's like... <laughs> Stop. <sighs> what, are you going to break up with me? I showed you my crab dance. Yeah. Yeah. You love it. <laughs> you love the crab dance. Uh, you saw that dance and fell in love. Yeah. Well, I had a feel. I had a feeling during the whole thing like he wasn't. No, fully, I at least fully dead. I didn't I think know. he was dead. But um, they stretched it out so long where I was starting to think, "Wow, he's actually dead." Yeah. You know. But, no, I felt like something at the funeral. That was better how they did it. I thought at the funeral he was gonna wake up and be like, "Who the hell are all of you?" <laughs> yeah. Drink. Drink! <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Fantastic, though. Father that Ted. That was a good episode. Yeah. Yeah, they seem to get be, be uh, getting better and better. Yeah, they do. They get better and as they go. It's probably... They're probably all good. We just, like, we're really invested in it now. So yeah. So it's becoming, like, our top show. That's true. So, um, anyway, be on the lookout for more reaction videos. Um, we'll see if we can get started on some new shows in the coming weeks. And in between those movies, coming soon! Yeah, well, to a YouTube near you. Earliest I think is probably January. January. Yeah, because I got to set everything up. Where I'm doing all the upgrades and things. Okay, so. you're right. Yeah. Yep, he's got busy little snail work to do. Yeah, so do you. I do. Yeah, you got work and school. Yeah. So you're a busy little busy little snail. We're very busy. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We will try to do another one within the coming week. So. Be on the lookout for that. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. She's Queen Boomer. He's King Boomer. You guys have a lovely weekend. Take care, everybody. Bye. Peace out.